News Talk Breakfast. In association with AIR. Seamless connections with Ireland's number one broadband provider. In 2018, 31.1% of children aged 10 to 17 reported having been bullied at school in the past couple of months. That's according to the latest State of the Nation's Children's Report. And James O'Higgins Norman, Director of the DCU's National Anti-Bullying Centre, joins us now. A third of kids being bullied in school in recent months. James, your reaction to this, it seems huge. Yeah, the, 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 the number there seems particularly high. Um, it's certainly out of sync with other data that would have put it a bit lower than that. Um, like more recent study last year uh, would have found that only maybe 17% of kids were, were were reporting bullying. So sometimes it's to do with the, the way the question is asked yeah. and, and the way the research is undertaken. But the bottom line is that... Um, whether it's 20% or 30%, it's a very significant uh, proportion of the population uh, who are um, experiencing bullying in schools. And are schools struggling, in your view? I know there are various anti-bullying programmes, etc., but are they struggling to cope with bullying? Yeah, I think that um, we've... Our research at DCU would show that about half of the schools are doing pretty well in terms of addressing the problem, and the other half of the schools have have struggled to to implement the action plan on bullying that was published by the government in 2013. Um, often, what what happens is that teachers. Uh, who are there on the front line of this issue in schools uh, are quite anxious about it. And when a parent approaches them or a report comes to them that um, they they feel inadequate or they feel anxious about how to deal with it. So there's a bit of work to be done in terms of upskilling teachers and giving them confidence in, in terms of dealing with bullying. And is that the difference between a school doing well and a school do, not doing well with bullying? It's, <clears> it's the confidence of the teachers to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, certainly that seems to be what comes true in our research, that uh, teachers are, where, where teachers are confident, they deal with the with the problem uh, swiftly and they deal with it in a very impactful way without uh, inflaming the situation, but making sure that uh, particularly the target feels safe and the parents' um, concerns are addressed. Where, where these issues become a problem is where it's kicked down the road by the teacher, where they're unsure, and um, it becomes then more people get involved and it becomes a bigger issue than it than it had to be. Um, so and it's not an easy situation for a teacher to be in. They have a duty of care to the child who's involved in carrying out the bullying as well as the target of the bullying. And sometimes it's hard for the parents of the target to to appreciate that. OK, and, and so is is what's missing then? Because I, I think we, we, we should point out that the impact of bullying on a child has, can have quite long lasting effects and be quite detrimental to their mental health and to their self-esteem and to all of those things. So we obviously want to deal with it. But if if the only difference between schools doing well and not well is, is a lack of confidence, then, then do we just need a more aggressive training programme for teachers? Would that make the difference? Yeah. Now, of course, this has to be dealt with within the overall well-being framework within schools. So it's it, bullying as an issue on its own isn't separated from the rest of the overall care approach that will be in a school in terms of trying to get children to to thrive and do well in, in life. But but certainly um, when it comes to the specific issue of bullying and um, the amount of time that te- student teachers get when they're in college and then the amount of CPD that they get after after being in college and when they're qualified is quite small. OK. And that, that's, a, that, that's something that was raised in the Oireachtas Committee um, last year and it has been, been, um, it has been considered at the moment by the uh, newly appointed Steering Committee on Bullying that, that was set up last month. OK, and I suppose, James, for people listening, there will be lots of people in their cars this morning out there on their way to school with their children worried about this or maybe experiencing this. If you are the parent of a child mm-hmm. who is being bullied, what do you do? So the research is telling us that... Um, for the majority of children who experience being bullied and who are able to resolve it quickly and get over it in days and weeks, uh, it's the role of their parent and their and their family members who is most significant. They're least likely to tell a teacher and more likely to tell a parent. Um, so really what's important here is good communication with your kids, watching to see if their behaviour has changed, keeping open lines of communication and checking in with them all of the time to make sure that they are, um, that they're telling you if there is a problem or that you're, you know about it as early as possible. Then when you go to the school to discuss it with the teacher, try and go in in a way that asks for the teacher's help. Let's work on this together. Let's collaborate in terms of addressing this problem. And also understand that the teacher has a number of agendas that he or she has to address, including their duty of care to the child who may be engaged in the bullying behaviour. But swift response from the teacher and the school is really important not to kick it down the road.
OK, look, thank you very much for speaking to us uh, on all of that this morning. That's James O'Higgins, Norman, director of the DCU National Anti-Bullying Centre. I have no doubt parents hearing that they should go in and say, how do we handle this together? Your instinct is to go in and, and go bananas, I'd say, if your child is being bullied. Yeah, but it is good advice, uh, although, as you say, difficult to actually do. Uh- 